This week on Swift Waters. So we got everything packed up, we got all the team loaded in, and we hit the road. From there we head to Devil's Lake. So that's kind of our landing spot. And the way we hunt North Dakota is free land. Oh yeah! <laughs> Kent Cartridge presents Swift Waters. Hey, welcome back to Swiftwater Season 3. We are going to go to North Dakota for the non-resident opener. It is just an awesome deal. So this episode is going to be really fun. Both Sean and I have a swan tag, so we're going to be scouting, knocking on doors, trying to get permission from landowners from Devil's Lake all the way to the Canadian border. Watch for the Duck Down giveaway logo. This week is Pete Boot Dryer. They're the best in drying footwear. So hey, let's get out there and have some fun in North Dakota. All right, so we're headed to North Dakota. This is the second weekend of the non-resident opener over there. It's an annual event for us, and we leave about four o'clock our time because it's a 12-hour run. So North Dakota, here we come. It's an annual trip for us. We head out. Our goal is drive her all night, hit some breakfast, and then it's right out to the field. And that's, that's how we play it out. First thing in the morning, we all pile out of the truck. You know, you're in the back, it's cold. You're slipping on your, your waders in the field. We get ready, we uh, chug it out through the field and set up at a pothole. We split up, you know, Tiny and I take the back end of it. Dan, he's, he takes the, the choke point. And Mike, he's, he's going right down into cattails. We're hitting them hard with the calls. We got some decoys in. The birds are coming from the far end. The, the, the daylight hits and they're on the move. Nice. Catch it up, boy. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. An amazing here, morning, here. you know, lots here. flying over. Good girl. Oh. Yes! Touch it up, boy. Touch it, bird. That's my girl. That's my girl. Yeah! <laughs> Oh man, it was really cool. The guys down there kind of gave me a heads up because we're watching this direction. We heard shots coming by, one shot, and down it goes. <laughs> How sweet's that? You know, we're getting some good pass shooting. Connie and I don't have a lot of action. The boys on the far end, they're just going like crazy, lighting it up. So it doesn't take but an hour for us to get too antsy because I can't sit in one spot any too long. You know, we're, we're on the move, taking a look at what the guys got going. It's mid morning, go back to the truck, decide where we're gonna scout for the afternoon. The morning hunt worked out really well. We pack it up and we head into Devil's Lake. We chose to stay at the Woodland Resort this year. Excellent place to stay. They have all kinds of facilities from lodges to cabins to little suites it's right on devil's lake they got campsites they got cleaning facilities they've got deep freezers for all of your game they've got kennels for your dogs they are pet friendly as well so it's a great place check them out uh, we really enjoy staying there swift waters is proudly brought to you by kent cartridge excel outdoors camo systems Dryer, Woodland Resort, Dave's Creative Taxidermy, Cedar Hills Game Farm, Thermocell Heated Products, McMiller Sports Center, Mountain Man Guns, and these fine sponsors. The makers of Kent Cartridge are proud to bring back Bismuth Premium Shot Shell. Kent has taken everything that was great about Bismuth and made it even better. Bismuth provides consistent patterning with less recoil and delivering superior penetration. 
Bismuth is a choice for duck hunters across U.S., Canada, and beyond. It all adds up how your day ends and what you expect from Kent when it begins. Optimize your game with Bismuth. After your hunt, if you're looking for some really high quality taxidermy work, take a look at Dave's Creative Taxidermy out of Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. He not only does the North American species, but also full African species as well. We as avid waterfowl hunters can never get enough storage. Whether we are traveling to our favorite hunting shack or nearby honey hole, bringing the right equipment is critical to the success and safety of our hunt. Excel Outdoors provides trailer accessories that meet our needs. Cargo trunks and cargo racks keeps all of our gear really dry and easily accessible. Excel Outdoors, organize your life outside. Concealment is the number one challenge while hunting. Whether we need to hide an entire duck boat or just a couple buddies out for a morning hunt, we need to be invisible. Camo Systems provides 3D camouflage netting that will allow us to blend into the environment. This versatile product is easy to set up in any situation and it'll stand up to the abuse we throw at it. Camo Systems. Nets that blend in, quality that stands out. After your hunt, if you're looking for some really high quality taxidermy work, take a look at Dave's Creative Taxidermy out of Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. He not only does the North American species, but also full African species as well. So after we get all of our gear unloaded, you know, we get snuggled into one of the cabins. Everybody claims their spot, you know, and we look at each other and say, it's time to roll. We decide, let's go out on Devil's Lake and uh, see if we got any divers coming out. We get in the boat, we launch it out. Um, the water level has actually receded this year on the lake, which has always been increasing to the point where it's flooded out many towns and uh, farms. So we're out, you know, we take the boat out, um, we load it up, and, and we're pretty loaded up. You know, keep in mind, stump jumpers are 15 footer. You know, we've got, you know, four or five of us in there. We've got decoys. We're riding pretty low, and we're not going fast, not like in the rivers. Well, we tank it out over to a little island. We offload ourselves, throw some decoys out there. We lay it in the ground, you know. It's just the best thing ever. But man, they're just, they're just out there. I get so antsy, you know, I, I walk right out in the water, I'm laying down with the decoys. You never know, right? You know, zeroed out on the birds, just had a good time. We head back up to the lodge, you know, unpack for the evening, get some, get some rest because we know we're going to hit it real early in the morning. So we get up first thing in the morning and what do you do? You know, you got to look at the weather conditions, kind of help you determine where you're going to go. We walk outside and it, the wind is kicking. It's like 40 miles an hour. There is no way we're going out on the water. So we head north. We got a couple other properties that we already have permission. They know we're in for the weekend. You know, we snuggle in on a nice pothole. You know, Chloe's on her stand because the water is like three feet deep. Morning comes and shooting starts. You can see them cross. You know, we get some fast action, you know, right on the deck, you can see them coming, but they're going by you 40 miles an hour. And it's like, if you don't need those things, you ain't gonna get one. We came down here. Um, we were able to recover that goose. Oh. After a bit, um, Chloe got out and got a nice retrieve on it. Uh, the wind is kicking, as Connie said earlier, it is, <laughs> 20, 30 miles yeah. an hour, and it is uh, just ripping. And, and the darn thing is, in two days, it's supposed to be 70 degrees out. So. But right now, it's 40 degrees, North Dakota weather, uh. or duck hunting. So we're out there, you know, in this marsh, Sean is calling, he's calling them in, they're circling around us, they swing wide, so we wait again. He does a little bit more calling, and I'm like, here they come, they're on the deck, they are flying, you know, fast, 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 and they're coming, and phew, you gotta lead them, and down they go. You know, they're diver ducks, we get some bluebills, we get some ringnecks, it's nice. just amazing. You know, it. Good you just job, can't, Chloe. you know, get excited any more than having them coming at you. And then they decide to move another location. I'm like, Sean, let's pack up, I wanna go over there. <laughs> and that's just the way it played out. We got some birds, really good shooting on the first hour, which always happens, and then we start moving. Uh, 
Well, hey, obviously we have Chloe, you know, with us all the time, all of our hunts, which just brings a whole new dynamics to duck hunting, you know, hunting with a dog. As you can see, when we roll in North Dakota, some of these birds are taken down, you know, they're out there. We just wouldn't physically be able to get it. It reduces your shot opportunity by at least 50%. So in the off season, work your dogs. Don't let them get fat and stagnant around. No, nope. we got so. Chloe, we use the trainers, you throw them, you work them. Work them from the areas that you're gonna, you know, hunt out of, don't just go to you know a pond which is good but think of the different areas you're going to hunt your dog and kind of train them in that element as well keep in mind keep everything simple chloe's a full house dog you know when she's not hunting with us simple commands repetitive commands sit stay fetch you know just keep and consistently repeat over that use the same training dummy as well I, we use a doka and they're just great tools to be able to work with all right <laughs> So we're dying out here. It's in like 50 degrees, but the sun is just blazing, as you can tell. Now this is a big marsh, you know. I'm talking a couple blocks over there. You know, keep in mind, always be friendly to the landowners. Be courteous if there's other hunters, um, because we're all here to have a good time, right? That's what it's all about. We did, we got a set of decoys. Um, Connie found a <laughs> tripped on a on a decoy on the way in, and uh, for nostalgic purposes. We keep them. We keep them <laughs> and we write on the bottom, you know, where we find these darn things uh, around the country. So, one from North Dakota, booyah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, cool off a little bit here and get down in the, Thick in the marsh. We're going to have a great evening. Oh huh? my God, it's just unbelievable. Dan's been down there and Dave, yeah. somebody just talk, took three shots, so let's hopefully get one down. After a hard day in the field, we depend on peat dryer systems to dry out our waders, boots, and gloves. We find that peat dryers will extend the life of our gear. Once you experience putting on a warm pair of waders or boots from peat dryers, you'll never go without. Peat dryer is safe for all types of materials, neoprene, leather, rubber, and all modern products. Peat dryer, we invented dry. Whether you want to use guides or you're a do-it-yourselfer like us, Woodland Resort has all the services you'll ever need for your next adventure. Their lodging ranges from camping to cabins to the Lux Suites, also an on-site marina and a full-service cleaning house. Just pick your style of accommodation. While freelance hunting throughout North Dakota, we find being centrally located on Devil's Lake at the Woodland Resort is just critical to our success. Woodland Resort. North Dakota's number one duck camp. We as avid waterfowl hunters can never get enough storage. Whether we are traveling to our favorite hunting shack or nearby honey hole, bringing the right equipment is critical to the success and safety of our hunt. Excel Outdoors provides trailer accessories that meet our needs. Cargo trunks and cargo racks keeps all of our gear really dry and easily accessible. Excel Outdoors, organize your life outside. The makers of Kent Cartridge are proud to bring back Bismuth Premium Shot Shell. Kent has taken everything that was great about Bismuth and made it even better. Bismuth provides consistent pattering with less recoil and delivering superior penetration. Bismuth is a choice for duck hunters across US, Canada, and beyond. It all adds up how your day ends and what you expect from Kent when it begins. Optimize your game with Bismuth. Concealment is the number one challenge while hunting. Whether we need to hide an entire duck boat or just a couple buddies out for a morning hunt, we need to be invisible. Camo Systems provides 3D camouflage netting that will allow us to blend into the environment. This versatile product is easy to set up in any situation and it'll stand up to the abuse we throw at it. Camo Systems. Nets that blend in, quality that stands out. So we got down to this area, we're able to cut across the road that's now for the first time that since I've been going out there, you can even drive on it. And, and the marsh is just gorgeous. And it's loaded with birds, just absolutely loaded. So we stop immediately. You know, we start looking for names on no trespassing signs. We don't find anything. You know, we're on our satellite, you know, uh, with our 
our GPS's, we're not finding the property owner, so we actually have to go in town. We find the little courthouse, and we're fortunate enough that they're even open to be able to buy a plot map, right? So we got the plot book out, we're going through it, boom, we get the landowners, we're calling you know, for information, we're on Google, we find the lady's name, the, the couple's name, um, get a hold of them, and she answered the phone, an elderly lady, couldn't have been any nicer. People out there are just genuine, they want to get to meet you, you know, give you permission, they want you to go out and have fun, so that's, you know, all part of the hunt as well. We truly enjoy meeting new people and getting permission to hunt on their land. You know, and her one request is after she gave us permission, said, you know, just go ahead and have fun out there, y'all. So we, we, we said we'll do what we can. We offload our stuff and we all spread out. Well, the boys go on the end, man, and they, they just bump this massive quantity of birds. And we're not where we need to be yet. So we scramble down there, you know, we put the cameras up and birds are flying over us. It's freaking mayhem. The adrenaline's flowing. Do we get much on camera? Probably not, you know, it's just, it's just going crazy. You know, we settle down after the big flight. And, you know, we kind of get ourselves in position and we think now we're on the mark. All right, well, we're back out on the big water. It's a choke point. We're, uh, we're here for an evening hunt. It's about 5.30. We got a couple hours, well, hour, hour and a half left of daylight. Um, hopefully we're gonna get some fast pass shooting right in here. Uh, we've hunted this area quite a bit in the past, and it's always done pretty darn well. So, I don't know. Hang out with me and let's see what happens, right? I can't get that shot. You know, when they're like behind you over your head. Let me rephrase that. I can't get that shot behind me over my head because my feet are in about four inches of, think of it like a thick peanut butter. So you're pretty well stationary where you stand. <laughs> Fetch it up, girl. Sean takes Chloe, navigates around the edge where he had put one down. <laughs> Good girl. There we go. Very nice, very nice. So we get a couple down, they're flying over our head. It's just mayhem. We are just having a blast out there. The, the day ended up to be just uh, fantastic considering we started out in a real slow area. You know, evaluate where you can go, go to plan B or plan C, scout, put your time in, and you know, meet some really good people along the way. I got one, I got one! <laughs> Fetch it up, Chloe. Fetch it up, Chloe, get it! It's swimming, honey. It's swimming. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Over here. That was beautiful. Did you see that one? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> you definitely downed it. I'm moving over here. Fetch it up, Chloe. Fetch it up. Hit it again, Chloe. What a great, great evening for a hunt. They just keep flying by. We are just a little bit out, so um, we'll be back and we're gonna move in the fly zone. So we go back to the woodland, you know, we're back at our, our place, we get some food and it gets some well-deserved rest again, and, and we're ready to hit it for the next day. Swift Waters is proudly brought to you by Kent Cartridge. Excel Outdoors, Camo Systems, Peak Dryer, Woodland Resort, Dave's Creative Taxidermy, Cedar Hills Game Farm, Thermocell Heated Products, McMiller Sports Center, Mountain Man Guns, and these fine sponsors.
All right, so we get up first thing in the morning. We walk outside again and we're, we're kind of evaluating what's the weather like. Overall, it's pretty cool, it's beautiful in that way, but the wind is just kicking it. And uh, we get set up, we get spanned out. You always get the morning uh, sunrise in North Dakota and it's just awesome. I got him! Ah! Go get it! Gotcha! Well done, this Connie. Well done. Rock and yeah. roll, baby. Jump down. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> A wonder dog. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, girl. Bring her here. Good girl. Good job. <laughs> Woo. Gadwell? I think so. Nice. We think we're going to set up here. We yes. set up here and the birds are over there. And I look at Sean and I'm like, I want to be there. The birds, you know, they come flying through. We put a couple down relatively slow, kind of, you know, we're almost like, what the heck's going on? The wind has just picked up from the beginning of the morning to have hardly anything to 40 miles an hour. I got to have a huge stance, lean into the wind, and it is almost blowing you over. How awesome is this? <laughs> North Dakota's finest. White camps on the water. Wait for the ducks to come in. <laughs> All right, you guys know us. We're on the move. We're out further in the reach. We feel we're at the end of the fly zone to the landing pad. I got that him. One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is uh. Oh yeah, here comes one. Oh yeah, I got him. We get down and, and the waves are hitting us. The birds are drawing us in because they're coming all the way down the pike and landing. We're getting some great shooting in. We got Chloe up on the stand again. You know, we're past shooting in. My, my ammo bag's getting a little light. You know, we got some birds on the stringer. It is one of the best hunts I think I've been on. Just to the experience of it, the birds down, it was just phenomenal. What a fun day. Catch up, Chloe. The ones that are going down, thank goodness we got Chloe with us because we would not be able to go out and get them. Well, hey, we're on our last morning hunt. We came right back to the same spot we were last night, which is completely not like us. No, usually we won't hunt two spots at the same time. Yeah, but we were under the gun. The weather was supposed to be beautiful, no wind. As you can see, it's raining out. As far as we're concerned, other than being you know, kind of wet and deep right now. Uh, we're waiting for the ducks to come in. <laughs> we're waiting for them to come through and, you know, we'll see how it pans out. Uh, we got a big day. We got to head all the way back to Wisconsin um, after this, but, uh, you know, never say never, right? Right up to the last minute. Yes. Okay, so we're out there. It's 40 mile an hour. I hear Sean say, don't move. Don't move. Behind us, Connie. I'm like, it's 40 mile an hour. I'm just, you know, trying to keep myself up. He's got swans. He's facing the other direction. We have drawn the swan permit. We're all super excited, but I know I can't move. I don't want to bust them. I, I want at least one of us to be able to shoot at these things. I'm like, I cannot even move. The wind is blowing me. I'm in six inches of peanut butter muck, and they're coming at me. You know, and these things come cresting over the cattails, and they're just lofting like 747s. And I'm like, Connie, you won't believe it. He's like, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. He says, I'm going to take the ones on the left. But it lofts and lofts and lofts, and Got it, it just lands way whoa, down 300 whoa, yards whoa, in front girl. of Dan. Come on, Dan, get that bird for me. Smoke that one out there. Just smoke it. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm thinking these things are gonna drop like a ton of rocks. Not. Nah. This thing you know, just kind of glares and just glides off. And thank goodness it glided off about 300 yards right to where Dan and Tyler are. We tagged it right away and got some great, great photos of a tundra swan. Who would have thought? Now those are just absolutely beautiful birds. You know, we ended up uh, plucking it and. Uh, I'm processing it when we got home and we, we had it for a Christmas dinner. Um, just, just unbelievable. But you know, the trip, you know, we ended up packing up for there. We had a great time out in North Dakota. You know, we had some good harvesting. We had some good, uh, made some new friends again. You know, we always pick up new spots when we go out there. It's, it's part of the kind of the ritual when we do. 
um, packed everything up, and then we had to head home. Sad days are those, but what a great trip. Stay. Hold. Fetch it up. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. We had just an awesome time out in North Dakota every year. Just love that place. <laughs> Remember to go to Facebook and let us know this week's Duck Down giveaway. Thanks for watching Swift Waters with Sean and Connie. Join us again next week for another great episode. Closed captioning brought to you by Thermocell Heated Products. It was so cool. We have drawn the swan permit. We're all super excited, but I know I can't move. I don't want to bust them. I, I want at least one of us to be able to shoot at these things. I didn't want to ruin his hunt. I didn't want to bust them. I know they got great eyesight, so, you know, it was just really super cool. So next year we'll put in permits again, and it's my turn.